Sometimes all it takes is a simple crop to make your content shine. Pitch this field common, I'm Hayden, and this is Cinematography. Don't get me wrong, cropping sounds simple, but DaVinci actually offers multiple ways to achieve different types of crops. So if you're a social media enthusiast, stick around because that's something pretty cool that you might not know about DaVinci when it comes to cropping. So here on the color page, I'll show you the quick and easy way to crop. All you do, select your clip, come up to Inspector. If you don't see it, it's right here. And you have cropping. And all you do is just take these and move them along and you can crop. The cool thing is there's even a softness that you can add. You can go a step further and animate this. We can just come along, say there, and I'll just click these little diamonds to add keyframes and go back to the beginning and turn all these back to zero. So now you can see that it starts cropping on the video as it's playing back. This one's pretty cool, but there's another crop effect that you can use inside your effects panel. Just come up here to effects. We're going to go to open effects and search for transform right here and drag and drop that on top of your clip and just make sure you're on the effects tab right here in your inspector and we'll come down to image adjustments. Right here, we can turn on crop. And just like before, you have cropping left, right, top, bottom, softness, but you even have rounding. I actually use this technique to have my round crops for my talking heads, just like in this video. If you didn't already notice inside this transform effect, you can do more than just crop. You can actually add motion blur. You can move your video around. So like we can go from here, So there, and we can go from that position to this position, and we can even rotate. So we can go from here to there. The coolest thing is you can go back to your video transform tools inside your inspector, and you can reposition so you can zoom in, change the position of the video to make sure you still have the right type of crop on your video, but you can go in and animate a zoom or do whatever and just have a more dynamic crop in your video. Now we've come to a different type of crop, something that I actually looked for originally when I first was using DaVinci, because if you haven't known already, when you make a new timeline, no matter what the dimensions of that timeline, if you have a video that's bigger or smaller, it's automatically going to scale it to the size of that timeline. So if you're editing on a 1080 timeline, you bring in a 4K clip, and you don't actually want it to scale it down to 1080, you wanna keep it at the 4K. I wanna show you how you can turn that feature back on, but because I said I had something for all the social media people out there, I'm actually gonna do this with a vertical timeline, and there's another little trick I'm gonna show you guys. Here is a vertical timeline I've made. I'll just right click on it, go to timeline, timeline settings. And here in my settings, you can see that I have it at vertical resolution, but we have mismatched resolution. This is set by default to scale entire image to fit. And that's what's giving that effect that I was talking about earlier. To fix that, we can just hit the drop down and go to center crop with no resizing. I will do that and I'll also scale it down to 1080. Okay, now I'm gonna go and get that clip that I was using earlier. As you can see in the metadata, this is a 4K clip and it's automatically scaled it. So if we didn't change that setting, it would actually look something more like that. So this is where it gets really cool. If you make a lot of social media content, we can have it automatically focus on certain things in the video. For this example, you can see that there's a lot of movement. This guy, he's moving his arms around, but maybe the video is talking about his watch. Let's go in just like we normally would zoom in a bit and kind of position that right around there. And we'll drop this thing down called Smart Reframe. It's set to auto by default, but we'll go to reference point and select this icon. And you'll notice there's this weird box thing. And this is going to be a tracking point for us. So we can just drag that like right on top of this watch and scale the box down to about the size of the watch. We'll click Reframe. Give it a second. So that actually cropped and kept the watch in frame the entire time. So everything that I showed you from the regular crop in the inspector to the transform effect to adjusting your timeline settings, those are all available in the free version of DaVinci. However, this transform effect is only available in the paid studio version of DaVinci Resolve, but I thought I'd like to share it to any of you guys that are looking to maybe upgrade or already have a studio version that make a lot of social media content. 
because this comes in handy a lot. And if you found value in this, go ahead and leave a like on the video and check out this video popping up right here that the algorithm thinks you would like to watch next. Until next time, I'll fui